Hi, welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here. I got my PhD in math. I have my dream job as a lecturer at a university. And I also create these YouTube videos to help graduate students with time management and productivity. And I also share a little bit about my life as an academic. So today we're talking about what does life look like as an academic financially? So how much do college professors actually make? So this is actually a response slash answer to a question that I got on my latest video. So last week I created a video all about how to become a college professor. So if you're interested in becoming a college professor, uh, just check out that video. I will link it above here somewhere. So in that video, I walk you through all of the steps starting from undergrad to grad school to like applying for jobs, like all the steps to become a college professor. And one of the comments I got below that video was, how much do college professors make? And I know that you're a lecturer and not a tenure track professor. So is there a difference? Do, they, do lecturers make way less than college professors? So the answer is, it depends, and I'm gonna get into all of the details in this video, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. So before we get started, I do want to answer another question. What kind of jobs can you get in academia? So what are all the different ways you could be a college professor? So the main two ways you've probably heard about are tenure track positions and non-tenure track positions. So tenure track positions are typically the professors you have in grad school, the ones who have graduate students, the ones who are doing research and doing all these publications. They write grants. Their position is typically called an assistant professor or associate professor or full professor. And that's just like the timeline of promotion. We have the tenure track professors and then we have the non-tenure track people. So people like me, I'm a lecturer and lecture means different things in different schools. So you will have to do your research. But for me, in my school, lecturer means that this is someone who has their PhD and they are a 100% teaching focused faculty member. So my only responsibilities are to teach. I don't have to do research. I don't have to take on graduate students or anything. Strictly here to teach and that is what I am here for. I love teaching and I'm so happy to have found the job that I have. Other names that you may have heard for the same type of position may be teaching assistant professor. So typically these are not tenure track positions but the title is very similar to a tenure track position. This is just a teaching focused instructional faculty member. You may have also seen clinical assistant professor. So my mom is actually a clinical assistant professor in business management. And for her, it basically means she teaches the distance learning classes at her school, but she has a PhD. She's not required to publish any papers. Um, so this is a non-tenure track position. Also at your school, you may have instructors. At my school, instructor instructors are people who have their masters, not PhD, but in other schools, they're just, just like lecturers. They have their PhD and they are teaching. So basically the two categories of college professors are the tenure track people and the teaching faculty members. And so we're gonna talk about their salaries today. All right, so the main question you wanna know is which one makes more? Do tenure track professors make more than non-tenure track professors? The answer is yes and no. So per school, like if you look at one school, out of all of them, so let's take my school. If you look at my school, the tenure track professors make more than the non-tenure track people. And it should make sense, right? They have way more responsibility. They have to teach, they have to do research, they have to take on graduate students, they have to write grants, they have to publish papers. It makes so much sense that they get paid more. On the other hand, a non-tenure track person in my department only is responsible for teaching. I also mentor some grad students, but that's all I do. So it makes sense that I make less in my school than someone who is a tenure track professor. However, it depends on your school because my job as a lecturer, non-tenure track, I make more than some tenure track professors at other schools. I know that's crazy, right? So I go to a, res a strong research institution. So there's a lot of money coming in. It's a big school. We have a lot of students. Therefore, my salary is higher than other tenure track 
jobs. So me and my friends were on the job market together and we were applying for different jobs. So I got a little insight into what different schools were offering for different positions. One of my friends went on an interview for a tenure track assistant professor position and the salary was about $40,000. And that is actually way less than what I make as a lecturer. So it depends on the school. So you can make more as a non-tenure track person at a bigger school than as a tenure track person at a smaller school. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's get into some numbers. Hey, I wanted to quickly interrupt this video because I forgot to make a disclaimer when I first recorded this. I do wanna say that salaries of college professors definitely vary by field. So me as a mathematician, I actually make way less than my mom who works in the business school. So it depends on your field. I highly recommend checking out Chronicle Data. I'll put the link below so you can see what the norms are for your field. All right, back to the video. So what is the range? Because depending on the size of school, like I just mentioned, the salary can be very big or very small. So I would say a good range for college professors, tenure track and non-tenure track altogether is between $40,000 per year and over $100,000 per year. I know, that's such a wide range. So how do you know? Luckily, all of this information is public knowledge. So if you look at public universities, these are universities funded by the state. All of the salaries are public knowledge. Therefore, you can look it up and figure out exactly how much each of your professors make. So that is something to think about. So if you just want to get a quick glance and look at multiple schools, I highly recommend um, the Chronicle data. So if you go to data.chronicle.com, you can just type in whatever school you want and you can see the salary range for uh, tenure track professors versus lecturers versus instructors versus postdocs. So that is a resource you can use. Something to also keep in mind is that the people who have been there longer are making more money than the people who haven't been there for a long time because pretty much every year, at least in my school, we get a raise and we usually get a 2% raise every single year. So the salary that I have now is not the salary that I started with just three years ago. And that's amazing to me. All right, so let's get into like numbers that you may actually care about. So my school in particular, on average, so this is not exact, but the average salary that a non-tenure track professor makes at my school is around $61,000. A tenure track professor, the average that they make is about $84,000. So it's about a $20,000 to $25,000 difference per year at my school. And this is average. So it could be that my department has a lot of older faculty members who've been there for a while. So their salary is going to be way higher than the newer faculty members. And lecture is a pretty new position in my school. So it makes sense that the average of all of us lectures salaries is much lower. All right, so I hope that this was an informative video. I hope that you got what you came for here and you understand a little bit more about what college professors make. It truly depends on the school and the position. I will say money is important, but it is even more important for you to be happy. So finding the right balance of making a nice salary and actually doing the job that you want is very important. And I was able to find a perfect balance for me at my school as a lecturer. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you next time. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. If you know someone who will benefit from this video, definitely share it with them and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.